San Francisco, America's laid-back capital of cool. It's a city where the old meets the new, where dot-com entrepreneurs ride hundred-year-old cable cars. Now it's the center for an extraordinary new therapy for one of men's oldest scourges, prostate cancer. Jesse Dean is an original member of San Francisco's Count Culture. A former actor and male model, Jesse's now in the limelight again after being diagnosed with prostate cancer. He's the first man in North America to have magnetic rods implanted in his prostate. I had an x-ray done of my prostate recently and the, the person didn't know what it was for, you know, and she went back and uh, developed the x-ray. She said, my God, what have they done to your prostate? <laughs> what doctors had done was implant 58 rods like these in Jesse's prostate to destroy the cancer from the inside. The prostate is a small donut-shaped gland at the base of the penis, which produces the fluid in which sperm swim. Cancer of the prostate is the second most common cancer in men. When Jesse Dean was told he had cancer, he faced a difficult dilemma. Surgery to remove the prostate, known as a prostatectomy, is a tricky operation. The prostate is surrounded by vital organs and delicate nerves, and many men are left incontinent and impotent. My urologist, of course, suggested prostatectomy. I researched that a little. It didn't sound too good to me. I mean, I, <laughs> I just couldn't bear the thought of incontinence. Jesse opted for radiation treatment, but a year ago his cancer returned. A newspaper advert for volunteers brought him here to Mount Zion Hospital, part of the University of California in San Francisco. Oh, Mr. Dean, how are you? All right, how are you? And the trial being run by Dr. Katsuto Shinohara. How have you been? Various treatment options are available for prostate cancer, but none of those treatments are perfect. No? Okay. And, uh, so we are always seeking better treatment options. Under local anesthetic, Dr. Shinohara inserted the magnetic rods into Jesse's prostate through needles. The rods are made of an alloy of palladium and cobalt and have a remarkable property. Put them in a magnetic field and they heat up. What I've got is just an ordinary nail stuck in a two by two and I'm gonna put it inside the, the field. It's called inductive heating, and Dr. Robert Tucker has been exploring its medical applications for more than a decade. If I left it in the magnetic field, this metal would melt, become red hot and melt. That's obviously a little too hot. What's clever about Dr. Tucker's rods is that the alloy they are made of only heats up to a predetermined temperature. Once they reach about 70 degrees centigrade, they don't get any hotter. That's just hot enough to kill cancer cells without damaging surrounding tissue. The exact positioning of the rods is vital to ensure the entire prostate is evenly heated and no cancer is missed. So this is a X-ray film of uh, Mr. Dean right after I implanted uh, those rods in the prostate gland. And this is actually the pelvis. You cannot see the prostate area, but you can see those rods placed in the prostate. That tells the location of the prostate gland. Once the rods are in place, Killing the cancer is just a matter of lying in a strong magnetic field while the rods do their work. And because the rods stay in place for life, retreating just means putting the patient back in the magnetic field. Therefore, if the patient has reoccurrent disease, he can be brought back in two, three, five years from now and retreated with the same rods in the same place. Just 10 patients have been treated so far in the US trial and eight are now cancer-free. But it's only being tried on patients for whom other treatments have failed. The other center for this international trial is in Santiago in Chile. Here, they're trying the rods as a first-line treatment in newly diagnosed cases. 80% have had few side effects. What's interesting about this investigation is that it's a simple procedure and one that can be repeated without serious invasion of the patient and it's equally as effective as those other treatments that exist today. Although the treatment was a success, there's no trace of cancer in his prostate, the outcome for Jesse is still uncertain. 
Tests show he still has cancer cells lurking somewhere in his body, which had probably spread from his prostate before his treatment. He's now having hormone treatment to keep the disease at bay. There are days, of course, when I get very down, and I think, oh my God, I'm going to die, and, uh, well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, so is everyone else, but I just wanted them to do it before I did. At least I did all I could do, you know. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but I'm still here.